Ever since 2017, I've been promoting the academic value of video games. Just like with movies, books, or music, there are some games that reach such a level of sophistication that they demand vigorous intellectual inquiry. For example, the greatest of horror games are the ones that make use of powerful psychological concepts and exploit them to the fullest. If we could use popular horror games as a medium to teach psychology, it would make kids much more enthusiastic about studying psychology, you know? Given the level of attention a young man or woman might pay to I don't know, Bloodborne lore compared to a textbook, it behooves us to try and carry that enthusiasm into academia by way of video games. There is a very large generation of young people waiting to see the value of education, and I think video games could be the spark that ignites that passion as it did for me. This top 10 list will serve as my argument to educators the world over. If we could somehow merge these games into a typical academic setting, millions of people will develop a newfound respect for philosophy, politics, economics, world religion and culture, and so much more. I'm sure there are games that aren't on this list that you believe should be. Tell me what games you think I missed in the comment section below so I can do videos on them in the near future. Finally, I want to give a clear definition of the word profound. When I say profound, I don't mean the general quality of the game. In this context, profound denotes anything that displays great knowledge or insight on behalf of the artist. These are the types of ideas and concepts that academics mull over for decades, that the cultural elite discuss in coffee shops. In this case, I am focusing on the profundity of a game's story, and why it should be taught in schools, colleges, and universities. Both my honorable mentions and my list of considered games are in the description box below. With that out of the way, I now present to you what I believe are the top 10 most profound video games ever made. Number 10. Killer7. In this game, an elite group of assassins known as the Killer7 take on a terrorist group known as Heaven Smile. This group, originating out of Japan, seek to undermine America's position on the world stage, in the hopes of achieving Eastern supremacy. As we play the game, we begin to uncover a conspiracy regarding this Cold War-like conflict between the US and Japan, one that threatens not only the Killer7, but the entire world. This conspiracy is basically one large commentary on the nature and function of not only politics, but how it mirrors concepts inherent to Eastern philosophy and religion. Best of all, the game's creator, Suda51, is not explicit about this commentary. He takes a minimalist approach to the story, leaving it to the player to decipher what he is trying to say. If and when you decipher what he is trying to say, you see a level of subtext to this game that is so densely packed so brilliant that you can barely find it in any artistic medium. Number 9. Bioshock Nowadays, you can't have a civil, rational discussion about politics, especially online. Everybody has to take a side, and no matter what side you choose, there is always a crowd of people waiting to castigate and or cancel you. Who would have thought that one of the few places you could hear coherent, rational arguments from both sides of the political spectrum was in a video game? Bioshock does just that. Bioshock's narrative presents the benefits and deficits of various political positions, contrasting liberals and conservatives, libertarians, authoritarians, and progressives. Best of all, the narrative isn't preachy. It doesn't advocate for one side or the other. In fact, it shows how all sides of the spectrum are necessary so they can keep each other in check. Given the deep political divides in the world at the moment, a game like Bioshock could help us understand each other. It could help us see the humanity in our ideological opponents, and help us uncover the faults in our own positions. Few other forms of media have done that, and thus, Bioshock deserves our reverence. Number 8. Dark Souls 
I can't think of any other game series that has inspired such rampant speculation about its lore. Really, any of the Soulsborne games could have been put here, but I chose the first Dark Souls, because I believe it contains just a little bit more profundity than any of the sequels or Bloodborne. Like with Killer7, the story is presented in a minimalist way. You can go through the whole game without knowing a single thing about the story, and it would still be one of the greatest games ever made. But to those who look beyond the gameplay and dedicate their time and attention to the Dark Souls universe, they will find the most intricate, intelligently crafted lore. A story steeped in psychology and ancient religious concepts. Almost 10 years later, Dark Souls continues to inspire millions of people to spend hours researching lore online. Now if only we can inspire people to carry that level of dedication to the academic world. Number 7. Shadow of the Colossus Literally everything I said about Dark Souls applies to this game with a few major exceptions. Though Dark Souls was equally captivating with its minimalist presentation of its complicated lore, Shadow of the Colossus has done the same thing for six years longer. Plus, the game is much shorter than Dark Souls, but still manages to have an equally deep layer of subtext. It provokes the gamer to introspect during those long horse rides between boss fights. Why am I here? What happened to this place? What is the nature of the Colossi? These questions, among millions more, have kept this game in the collective consciousness of gamers for 16 years. It is the primary reason why it has received two remasters and is currently receiving a fan remake. The game has this imperceptible, numinous quality, one that we must continue to worship and analyze for years to come. Number 6. Silent Hill 1 and two. Yeah, it's a cheat, but I really, really can't decide. I know most people would say that Silent Hill 2 is the best in the series, and I actually agree. However, I argue that there are underground workings in both games that are of equal profundity. What most people don't realize about Silent Hill 1 is that there are numerous references to ancient religious traditions throughout. I could teach a whole class about how this game's narrative is an expert interweaving of ancient alchemy and dualism. Same thing goes for Silent Hill 2, but instead of religion, it would be a class on psychoanalysis. It is these underground workings that make both games so potent, so archetypal with their horror. And by understanding them, we can make future games that transcend the standard they set. A standard that still has yet to be matched 20 years later. Number 5. Soma Soma may not have reached the same level of horror, or type of horror that Silent Hill gave us. However, it is arguably the greatest when it comes to existential horror. Soma asks philosophical questions that are very difficult to ponder, and I'm not referring to their complexity. I mean they are emotionally difficult. Soma presents a future where human consciousness can be not only replicated, but duplicated. What's worse, such a future is theoretically possible, where our consciousness can be mirrored inside an artificial body, basically giving us an identical twin. This evokes several philosophical quandaries. Does this make a robot human? Does that make human consciousness less special? Does human consciousness live on after death while the robot consciousness merely ceases? These questions and more nag at the player's mind throughout the game, culminating in a pessimistic finale that you will never ever forget. For a game to leave such a paralyzing impression on the player, I can only describe such an effect as profound. Number 4. The Talos Principle In my opinion, the Talos Principle is the most underrated game of all time. Imagine the game Portal, but you make the story much more cerebral and the puzzles much more challenging. That is what the Talos Principle is. It is great for all the reasons Portal is great and deserves 10 times more credit for that reason. Though the Talos Principle discusses a lot of the same concepts that Soma does, it does so in a minimalist form. To top it all off, there are numerous references to philosophy, poetry, and religion littered throughout the game, all of which play a greater part in illustrating the game's grander narrative. Each reference serves as a puzzle piece to uncovering the game's key conspiracy. Once you complete that puzzle, you feel, without exaggeration, as if your entire being has transcended to a higher state, much like the main character does in the game. 
The process of transformation that both the character and the gamer go through could easily be the subject of many academic lectures. Number 3. Metal Gear Solid 2 Many of you probably expected this game to be number one, mainly because my most popular video is titled The Most Profound Moment in Gaming History, and the moment in question is the ending of Metal Gear Solid 2. Though this single moment elevates MGS2 to the number three spot, I think there are two other games that have a greater number of profound moments overall, but we'll get to those in a moment. What makes Metal Gear Solid 2's ending the most profound moment in gaming history is that it asks a question that no human being has the answer to. How does one solve the problem of fake news and misinformation? How do we stop people from becoming radicalized and believing in falsehoods? The answer to this question transcends our consciousness. I mean, sure, there are things one can do to cope with these unfortunate realities, but we can't outright fix the problem. Worse yet, we know what is going to happen due to the fact that we can't fix the problem. Every time we see political violence or radicalism popping up in the public square, we slide closer closer and closer to a dystopian future. This along with many other subjects that Metal Gear Solid 2 raises merits discussion by the world's greatest minds. Number 2. Deus Ex there are many reasons other than the story that make this game the most important game ever made, but for the sake of time, I'll condense my focus. The story of Deus Ex includes all of the science fiction concepts and existential philosophy inherent to both Soma and the Talos Principle, while adding some of its own hard-hitting questions. With the exception of all the real-world conspiracies that the game plays with, like Majestic 12 or the Illuminati, Deus Ex paints a very likely dystopian future. Don't take my word for it either. Even Elon Musk says that the state of the world right now mirrors a lot of the stuff that is happening in this game. It's only a matter of time before artificial intelligence and nano augmentation becomes a reality. Not only that, there's also the inevitability that this technology will be weaponized by the wrong people. It's incumbent on we the people to see how easily our future could look exactly like Deus Ex, and do everything we can to prevent that from happening. And number one, Nier Automata. Friedrich Nietzsche once bragged that he wrote more in one sentence than most people wrote in a book. In my opinion, one could say the same thing about most of the moments in Nier Automata. No other game has made me think as hard and as long as this game did. Each moment in this game centers around the most difficult questions posed by humanity's greatest philosophers. Not only that, it answers them in a unique, coherent, and convincing way. Sometimes it will put forward questions and answers that invoke the worst existential dread, and then soon after, it will make us feel more hopeful and optimistic about humanity than we ever had. It is a masterpiece of storytelling, and easily, in my opinion, the most profound game ever made. And that was my list. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. Remember to tell me if you think I missed one or two games so that I can do videos on them in the future. If you'd like to see longer discussions about each of the games I mentioned in this video, refer to the list of videos I put in the description box below. Make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more in-depth analysis of profound video games, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, stay yellow.